Hello, I'm Kat. Welcome to this yoga quickie for hip and leg strength. We're starting standing. I'll see you on the mat. Begin standing on your mat with feet in a hip distance apart and parallel, heel behind the widest part of your foot. Lift and spread out your toes as you rock your weight forwards and backwards on your feet, making each rock smaller each time until your feet are evenly grounded. Make sure that they're still parallel and the arches feel lifted. Soft knees, bring your awareness to your pelvis. Tipping your pelvis forwards and then backwards. Forwards, like a bowl of water, spinning out the front. Backwards, like a bowl of water, spinning out the back. Let's link the movement with the breath. So we inhale forwards and exhale backwards. Lovely. Just feel the changing sensations in the lower back, around the area of the hips. Do you already feel some stretches maybe as you tip the pelvis forward? Maybe a little tiny stretch in the hip flexors. You feel the engagement as you tip the pelvis back. See what you feel. Maybe a little lower back stretch as you tip your pelvis backwards. Let's make each tilt smaller and smaller each time until the pelvis is level like a bowl of water that's not spinning. Inner hip bones level with the back rim of bone. Arms can come down by your sides, palms face forward. And just be aware of your breath. Can you feel your pelvic floor naturally lifting? Can you feel that hammock of muscle at the base of the body? Can you feel it lifting? Don't worry if you can't, just see what you feel. Ribs feel gently drawn in, not flaring them out as you breathe evenly, wide and full into the ribcage. Breathing in forwards, backwards, out to the sides, the ribcage expands. <sighs> Can you feel a soft and gentle engagement from inner hip bone to inner hip bone? If you feel this, this is Mulabandha, the root lock of energy. It's very useful for balancing, which we're going to do in a moment. So bringing your hands onto your hips. Bring your weight over into your left foot. Keep that neutral pelvis, inner hip bones level with the back rim of bone at the back of the pelvis. So weight into the left foot. The right foot comes up off the mat, stacking the knee level with the hip. Feel that right hip flexor working. Lots of work happening all around the hips to stabilize you here. See if you can maybe consciously lift your pelvic floor now. See if you can Consciously feel an engagement from inner hip bone to inner hip bone and the lower abdominals. Mm. Inhale, wide and full into the chest, not flaring the ribs. And exhale, circle your knee away from the midline of the body and inhale back towards you, across the midline of the body and up. Exhale away, keep balancing, <laughs> try and keep the, the right toes up. Check that you're soft through your standing knee, you're not locking the knee. Really good. This is going to really strengthen your hip. You don't have to have hands on the hips if it's not comfortable, just whatever feels good for you. And then let's circle the other way. One, two, this is so strong. Three, feel those muscles in the standing leg and buttock working. Four, five, six, place your foot against the inner thigh. You can also use the alternative of placing your foot against your left calf or onto your left ankle. Hip square forward, knee rolls out to the side, pelvis stays neutral. If you are finding that your foot is slipping onto the knee joint, just come below the knee. We don't want to be pushing the right foot against the left knee joint to the side, it's not good for the knee. And you do want to be pushing that foot into the standing leg, but you want muscle to be receiving it, not the knee joint. Hip square forward, knee rolls out, pelvis stays neutral. Tree pose, beautiful. Bring palms to touch. Breathe into your opening hip. So you have that opposition happening. 
Right knee rolling out, hips square forward. Let's release the hands back to the hips and release the foot, well done. That was a lot of work. So paddling out the feet. And this is giving the feet a nice stretch, especially my left foot because my left foot did find that a, a quite hard work, standing, <laughs> taking my weight all that time. This is excellent for building up the muscles in your feet as well. So coming back to standing, nice parallel feet, heel behind the widest part of the foot, neutral pelvis, bring your weight over into your right foot, taking your left foot up off the mat, knee level with the hip, neutral pelvis and breathe. Up to you where you have your arms, I'm just going to bring mine down by my side and turn my palms forward. So this is a lovely arm position, it just gives you that nice broad and openness across the front of the body. I'm not squeezing my shoulder blades together, I'm broad across the back of my body too. Do you have your hands on your hips or even a hand on a wall for stability, it's fine. Inhale here and exhale, circle the knee away from the midline of the body. Inhale back and across, exhale away, inhale back. We're stirring the hip socket with the end of the thigh bone. This is so good for the circulation of your hip. It's so good for keeping the hip joint healthy and strong and well circulated. Let's go the other way. This helps to produce fresh synovial fluid, which is the fluid that lubricates the joint. So we're just really stimulating everything and obviously working the muscles around the joint, the hip muscles so much. And the muscles of the inner thigh and the outer thigh and outer hip. Last one, really good, really strong. Let's bring that foot against the thigh, ankle or calf, but not against the knee. Hips square forward. Just check on that level pelvis. The pelvis is like a bowl of water that's not spilling. Inner hip bones square forward like headlights on a car. Hips aren't twisting. This knee rolls out to the side. So I'm having an opposition happening here, an opening for my inner hip area. Breathe into that stretch. Shoulders are away from the ears. You may choose to keep your hands on your hips or down by your sides. Or palms to touch in front of your heart. Just gently pressing those palms together. Finding a soft wrist stretch here. Don't let that um, foot slip down to the knee. Always bring it below the knee if it won't stay above the knee. Good. Bring your hands back onto your hips, release that foot down or release your arms. Have a paddle for the feet. Good. We've got one more balance. <laughs> Ground the feet down. Bring your weight into the left foot, left leg. Take the right foot, so you're flexing the right foot, you're placing the right ankle on top of the left thigh and sink your hips down as if you were sitting on a chair. So we don't want the left knee to overshoot the left toes. We're sinking the bottom back. The lower you sink, the more stretch for the right outer hip area, maybe into the buttock, you're fine. Nice level hips. Palms to touch. Softly draw your tummy in to find length in the lower back. Really, really gonna strengthen the muscles of our legs here. This standing leg is working hard. So coming up to standing and have a paddle for the feet. Bring your weight into your right foot, right leg. And I like to have a little tiny sink through my knee as I just bring this left leg up, flexing the left foot. And that helps to protect the left knee because we're engaging all the muscles of this left leg as well when we flex the foot. If you do have any knee problems in this top leg, then you might want to leave this pose out. Just always listen to your body. We're sinking the hips down. Imagine your tailbone descending towards the back of the mat. 
So gently draw the tummy in to flatten a bit more through the back. But keep your heart lifted. Don't let your shoulders hunch you around. Just think of length through your spine. Keep the weight nice and evenly grounded in your standing foot. So if you do find your weight rocking into your back heel, then just work the ball of foot down a bit more. Feel like your right foot arch is lifting, strengthening your feet. Wow, yoga just strengthens your whole body. <laughs> and then grounding into your right foot, working that right leg as you push up to standing. Have a nice paddle for your feet. Parallel feet, heel behind the widest part of the foot. Palms to touch in front of your heart. Inhale, arms around and up, gentle back bend. Exhale, hinge at your hips, diving forward. Let your knees bend enough so you can get your belly to your thighs. And round over. Relax your upper body. Draw your tummy in, lift your pelvic floor. Feel like your core is the powerhouse to the movement as you slowly roll up vertebra by vertebra, stacking each vertebra one upon the one underneath it until you come up to standing. Thank you for joining me for yoga today. Namaste.